So today I am doing an apartment tour. I've been wanting to do this for a while now and finally got my apartment clean enough <laughs> to feel comfortable showing you guys my entire apartment. Okay, let's go. On the stacks, all the cash got the back on me. Big dog, I'm a boss type of energy. Got the club going up, they all fuck with me. Excuse the noise in the hallway. Right at the entryway, make sure you lock your doors behind you, ladies and gentlemen. So this is my entryway, kind of normal, a little boring. I have some words of encouragement for when I leave the house in the morning. And you know, every black household you better take off those shoes at the door. So that is where you leave your shoes when you're coming to visit me. And then we go straight into the kitchen. I had so much fun decorating above my cabinetry. It makes the room just feel so much bigger and more beautiful. Bachelorette life. Nothing in the fridge but alcohol and ice cream. And you know we gotta have some scrimps, okay? <laughs> the fridge is a little better. I love fruit, always have to have fresh fruit. With this COVID-19, whatever, running around, gotta make sure that immune system is A1. Um, Always fresh grapes. Mm. Um, and I have a couple Hello Fresh orders there. And then the regular items in the door condiments. Here's where I keep the majority of my plates silverware. Not silverware, y'all. Plates, bowls to eat off daily. Gotta keep a nice little fruit bowl. And then luckily this apartment has gas. I love a good gas range. I don't know when that started, but I love it. I don't know. <laughs> um, next cabinet, this is where I put all my glassware. Got some Yetis up there. Yeah. I love these little mats you can put in I think I do something like the dollar store. Put them in your cabinets um, so they're not directly on the shelves and get some air under them so they don't create too much dust. And then you got, you know I got my wine and my champagne. It's a little low right now, but usually, no, it's usually about that full. <laughs> and there's always an open bottle in the corner. And then my island, I love this island. An uh, island was definitely on my bucket list. Gas stove is on my bucket list. Stainless steel appliances is on my bucket list. Um, this sink, this farmhouse sink, definitely on my bucket list. With this apartment, I got everything I wanted in my first apartment. It was so amazing. As soon as I walked in, I was like, oh yeah, this is it. I don't need to see no more apartments. And I probably visited over 25 apartments in the Houston area before I found this one. As soon as I walked in, like I said, I was like, oh, okay, bet. <laughs> this the one. Where's the dotted line I have to sign on? Um, my island, like I said, these beautiful chairs. I searched so long for these chairs. I literally got everything I wanted for this apartment. It's so crazy. They're a little pricey, but they're sturdy and will last me forever. That's my yeah. excuse for everything that's expensive. It'll last me forever though. <laughs> I have my vision board here. Always love some plants. 
This is a ZZ plant and this is an aloe plant. And here I have my money tree, bringing in the good vibes. Next to the Palo Santo, the sage, some chakra tumbles, of course, some incense, my manifestation journal, and a couple other business journals I keep here. So these plants here are real. The plants on top of the cabinets are not because who was climbing up there to water them every week or every day, depending on what plants you got. And then onto the living room, this mirror, y'all. This mirror is like six feet tall and it's a perfect size. This is where y'all see me taking my selfies. I sit in front of here for my YouTube videos. Like, look at that thing. Mm, Ikea. Ikea, sis. And actually, if y'all want to know where I got any of this stuff, comment and I will give you all the deets. I'm not a stingy woman, okay? I will get you any information you want to know. I just don't know off the top of my head no more because I've been here for about three years. So I got to look it up, but I'll look it up for y'all. So my couch, the perfect couch. Anyone that is getting or... Anyone that is moving into an apartment for the first time, get yourself a comfortable couch that is deep. Like you see the width of this couch, I can like climb up in there, get super comfy, put my knees on it. And it's not like I'm hanging off or falling. That was like the key that I needed, um, the key that I wanted for my couch. I got this from West Elm. And I can find a link and link it in the info if y'all like. Got some beautiful paintings, some abstract. I think I got those from Home Goods. They're actually the exact same photo. Well, sorry, the exact same image. The one in the middle is just hung upside down. Actually, I'm lying. Oh, I don't even remember. They all the same the three things. <laughs> Sorry, they're all three the same image. Some of them are just upside down. I feel like the two on the outsides are upside down and the one in the middle is the real one. But you know, it makes it look like it's three different images. Because it took me so long to find big photos that could fit this space. I didn't want to have a lot going on over my couch. These curtains are from Amazon. I love them. They're like 115. As you can see, they're hung very high. They're like 115 or 120 inches. The crushed velvet. Amazon is definitely the goat. Y'all want to go outside? I don't know if I want to go outside. Y'all want to go outside? This is my garden, y'all. Let me put some shoes on so I can go outside for y'all. It's a decent day. A little rainy. I got a little dusty chair. I don't ever sit in this chair. You could tell it's been in the sun because that's not the color it came. So this is my garden, y'all. This is broccoli. I'm gonna have to thin it out soon because broccoli grows very large. I just started it in this, this is supposed to be an herb garden. I started it in this herb garden, but from what I saw online, they grow huge. So I'm gonna have to thin them out and then plant them separately in their own containers, probably pretty soon. Then here I have some sage, 
And then I have a couple, some oregano, and then this is sage. This is some parsley, looks so good. And then these are some onions. Same thing with the broccoli, once they get bigger, I'm gonna have to thin them out and put them in their own pots. This, look at this little tiny, this is my little lemon tree. <laughs> I've started it from like, just a lemon from the grocery store. I took a seed out of it and it's starting to grow. This is strawberry, no strawberries yet. I got a couple tomatoes. Oh, my poor tomato plant is dying. We're not even gonna show you this, but I got a few tomatoes on here. Some are starting to get red. These are carrots. So my carrots are starting to grow. A few of them I planted earlier than others. So These are my peppers. So fast and this is a potato so we have potatoes growing under there so now let's bring it back inside I received TV I don't own the rights to these songs that are playing in the background this oh look at my feet oh no <laughs> let me stand over here <laughs> This chest or armoire is from, guess where y'all, Amazon. And if y'all wanna know the story, I'll tell y'all the story about how I got it for free. I got this for free from Amazon. Um, I have another ZZ plant here. And I have some crystals and candles under my TV. And then I missed my coffee table. My coffee table is also from Amazon. Um, the Africa shaped tray and coasters is from a black owned business I found on Instagram. Let me know if you would like the info. So cute, sturdy. I have another owl pan and I have my singing bowl my root chakra bow. Next is the bedroom. Y'all, I need help with um decorating my bed. It's a little boring, but I love my bed itself. This is a sleigh bed I got from a local furniture store here in Houston and like I said I told y'all before everything like furniture wise and amenities within my apartment literally everything that I wanted I got as soon as I found this bed I was like oh yeah this is my shit and I was probably looking for beds for a good month I was in here sleeping on the floor because I refused to get a blow-up bed <laughs> And I refuse to settle on the type of bed that I want, especially this being my first apartment. Everything that I wanted, I wasn't making any alternates, no exceptions, no nothing. I can link the details for you guys if you like. Just give me some tips on how to jazz up my bedroom decorations. Like... <laughs> this poor comforter i just got it from the laundry well i didn't let me not even lie i picked it up from the cleaners probably a month ago and i just threw it on my bed because i left it in the bag from the cleaners because it's been so hot in houston i don't need this big comforter now that it's summertime so i threw it on for the video but then I'm thinking like, girl, you should have left your little sheet on there because it looks crazy. It's very wrinkled. And then I don't know what decorations. I just wanted my bed to be very light and whimsical and just, I don't know. Y'all give me some, give me some tips on how to decorate my bed to make it more sexy. 
maybe some pillows. I just don't like a lot of color. It has to be white. It has to be white. Okay. So here I have my, one of these called bedside tables, dressers, nightstands. Yeah, it's a nightstand. It's definitely a nightstand. Um, I wanted something different than what you normally see. Um, the short nightstands. I want it tall, chest-like. And like I said, sis is going to get what she wants. So I got two. Don't ask me why I only have one lamp. <laughs> see what happened was I got the lamps from Ross. One of I got two of them. One of them broke and I could never find another one exactly like this. And I'm not trying to make no exceptions. So right now I only got one lamp. It ain't even no light bulb in it. I don't even use it. It's just for show. It got the tag on it still. Look at me. Look at my... Don't pay me no mind, okay? <laughs> um, well, yes. These dressers are from Walmart. Yes, sis. You heard me. These dresses are from Walmart. But Walmart online. So that is a big... I guess secret, y'all. Target online and Walmart online is not the same as the stores. They will get you some good SHIT. Like, people don't believe me when I said I got this from Walmart. I'm pretty sure it's Walmart. It might have been Target, but I feel like I got this one from Walmart. And I will find the invoice and post it in here. I keep my, I guess, delicates in these drawers because they're not that deep. So I can't really keep clothes in them. I keep like bra, socks, underwear in these drawers. Then I have these beautiful images of roses. I love these. So pretty. I found these at Ross. They took me forever to find. I feel like everything from my apartment took me forever to find. And I actually had these roses and candles before I found the paintings and forgot that I even had roses in my room already and found those. I was like, okay, they're white. Good. I was looking for something white, maybe a dash of color for my room. And I'm like, oh my gosh, they're white and green. Those are going to be my colors. It was fucking perfect. This is my dream journal here. Whenever I can remember my dreams, I write them down as quickly as I can before I can forget them. And then this is the same curtains that I have in the living room, just in green. Oh, the color isn't picking up, but it's like an emerald green. It's a little darker than it shows on camera, but it's the same thing. As a living room. And this is my room, guys. This is where the magic cap is. Like once a month. <laughs> One week in a month, this is where the magic happens. <laughs> oh, I guess the closet's next. Y'all, I ain't prepped for this. So this is gonna be interesting. Okay, it's not too much of a mess. This is my <laughs> closet. I have so much clothes. This is probably 75% of them though. Maybe 65%. I still have some back home in Connecticut. That's where I'm from. Born and raised. Um, I have some bins here. I have some bins in the laundry room. Yeah, I think that's where all my clothes is at. But there's a good amount that's still back home. This is my closet. Like I said, shoes. This is probably 50% of my shoes. The other 50s. Back home, because I couldn't bring everything. Because obviously everything can't fit in my apartment. So I'm the type of girl, I need my box. So I get my house and I got my shelves all set up. I need my shoe boxes. Period. These are mostly tops, dresses, jumpsuits. 
These are pants, skirts, a little bit of work clothes here. These are crop tops. You know I live in Houston. Crop tops, body suits, all of that. And then it came with these cute custom shelves. Those are just a couple boxes, you know. Trying to be cute on some display shit. Don't nobody even come out of it. Um, this is my jewelry section. Some of my jewelry. I keep them in these little containers so they don't get all tangled together. I'm sorry I did not clean, y'all. <laughs> I did not clean my closet. I clean everywhere else except the closet. <laughs> um, these are my regular little t-shirts. Like I said, my dressers aren't that deep, so I can't keep too much in there. It's dark. There's some more jewelry, some sunglasses. These are where my belt's supposed to be. I don't know why there's bags on this row. Belts, hats. A couple other like random stuff and then it's dark so y'all can't see these are what, like my my smaller bags are a tail far other tail far <laughs> Louis Vuitton Michael Kors you know Brandon Blackwood this is where I keep my my bags my desk bags and then the bigger ones I keep them in their desk bags and kind of lined up here or piled on top of each other here. <sighs> I need a bigger closet, huh? But I still never have nothing to wear. And I still take hours to find outfits. It's a problem. Next is the bathroom. This little caboodle, I guess I can call it a caboodle. Is there I keep all my makeup? Some more makeup. And then even more makeup. Well, these are my brushes. Clean and dirty. All my brushes here. And then all my utensils for my hair. All my scarves. I have like 50 scarves. I found this cute. Um, I don't know bucket carousel for all my lip glosses my lipsticks a few of my perfumes i have chanel and rihanna those are the only ones i have so far i'm trying to build my perfume game up and then some of my favorite jewelry that i wear on a more regular basis is here Oh, I look crazy, so I'm going to try to stay out of the mirror. <laughs> but I have a double vanity. I have some chakra palm stones and some beautiful candles from a black-owned business I found on Instagram. Let me know if y'all interested, of course. A large, beautiful mirror. I love this mirror. It's so hard to keep clean, but I love it. And then I have some stickies, some, like, Daily motivation stickies to make sure I'm doing what I need to be doing. So whenever I'm in the mirror, like I ain't supposed to be there. <laughs> whenever I'm in the mirror, I try to read them and just stay on my sh You feel me? And then I have some storage here over the toilet. In the most amazing shower ever. Ugh. It's so hard to keep that glass clean, but it's worth every scrub, every bottle of cleaner, every bottle of Windex. <laughs> um, so yes, guys, this is the last part of the tour, the apartment tour, the bathroom. Like I said, if you want details on anything, including these translucent stickies, because I wanted something that wouldn't stand out too much, like bright pinks and yellows and reds and greens. Something that wasn't too overwhelming. 
And then this cute photo. Obviously, I like flowers, guys. So yeah, guys, that's it. Oh, actually, if y'all want to peek into my laundry room, oh. <laughs> it's usually closed, but that's where I keep all my cleaning products, sanitizing, extra paper towels, iron, toilet paper. And then my laundry baskets, you know, you gotta sort that laundry. Don't be throwing everything together. Don't be throwing the your real clothes with your towels. You gotta um, separate the color, the whites, and then the towels. And then some more storage bins full of clothes. Clothes just thrown up there because I have nowhere else to put them. Um, yes, yeah, so this is my laundry room. Off the bathroom. And then now come back into the kitchen. Yes. Y'all want a quick little roundabout tour? Yes, one big circle. But it's been fun. You ain't got to go home. But you gotta get the book up out of her. I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> Bye. Honest snacks, all the cash got the